Hi, I'm Carrie Gilliland. And I'm TJ Kelly with Keller Williams Integrity First in Gilbert, Arizona. Right now, the talk of recession is dominating the news and conversation. So the big question is, does a recession mean a housing crisis? Well, not necessarily. If you look at the last six recessions in the country all the way back to the 80s, home prices actually appreciated in all but two of those recessions. First in the early 90s was the impact was minimal, but the most memorable was the Great Recession in 2008 when many homes lost over 50% of their value. The PTSD is real when it comes to this scenario back in 2008. I totally get it. My family was affected just like everyone else. However, with values actually climbing in most of the past recessions, just because the market crashed in 2008, it doesn't mean that this is what we're in for this time. We certainly don't have a crystal ball, so we're not here to make any predictions, but the differences between then and now are very clear. The collapse of the housing market in 2008 was fueled by low interest rates, easy credit, insufficient regulation, and toxic subprime mortgages. This is simply not the case in today's market. So what does that mean for you if you own a home or are planning to move soon? As we look at the data over the past couple of months, we can now clearly see that the shift or correction really began in early February 2022, but May is when we really started to feel it. Higher interest rates for mortgages are definitely changing the speed in which the market is moving. Sellers are now going to have to adjust their expectations on how quickly their homes will sell, and they're going to have to do a little more prep work to get their home ready than they've had to do in the past couple of years. So sellers, if your home doesn't sell in the first week on the market, do not panic. It may take a little longer to find the right buyer for your home. Pay close attention to how you compare to your competition and do not overprice your home. Don't be surprised if buyers are not waiving all contingencies and offering 20, 30, or even 50,000 over asking price. Sellers be ready to negotiate. Work with your realtor to have a plan in place so your listing doesn't come stale or sit too long, which will ultimately end up in netting you less money. Buyers, if you're waiting for home prices to drop to 2009 prices, you might be disappointed. There's just no indication of this happening. Good homes are still going to sell for top dollar and interest rates are expected to continue to rise. So pay close attention so that you can stay within your payment budget. In this new market we're experiencing, you may be able to do a little more negotiating, which is great news for home buyers. You may get some of your closing costs paid by the seller, which you can use to buy down your interest rate. And if you have a home to sell in order to buy a new one, we are seeing more buyers get their offers accepted with a contingency on the sale of their home. So the bottom line is that if you're planning on living in your home for several years, focus on the payment and look at your real estate purchase as an investment. It's almost always better to buy versus rent. And with rental rates on the rise, you could be paying for your own American dream versus borrowing the American dream from your landlord. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, be sure to hire a great realtor with a proven track record, someone who works full time, is an expert marketer, and someone who also has a solid network and reputation in the real estate community. Now is not the time to hire an amateur. If you're considering a move to Phoenix, Arizona, Southeast Valley, we would love to help you. You can visit us on our website at www.arizonaperspective.com.